Hey everybody, welcome back to Picking and Flipping. Just uh, figured I'd show you this new guitar we picked up today. Real cool one. So we haven't even plugged this thing in. We don't know if the electronics work in it. It was really cheap, so I bought it. So what we got here today is a first act. M E three two one. I got one. I ended up with this guitar. So we're gonna put some strings on it and then see what we go to next. All right, everybody, let's get these nasty strings off of here. Interesting. It's not through. Look at that. This thing's got active pickups in it. And there's no nine volt in it. Hmm. I thought that was to turn it on and off. But I think that is to activate it. Woohoo! So for initial cleanings, I use extremely watered down Fabuloso. So we're gonna put some goof off on this too because I'll show you something here on guitars that I've come to learn over the years. You see that? All those white marks usually can come off. You just need the right stuff. Take some of this stuff, put it on your rag. Make sure it's a rag that's like coarse, you know, it's got some friction. And look at that, it comes right off. You don't even have to scrub very hard. Okay, boom. Same thing, check that out. See how nasty that is? Hope that's in tune. <laughs> I mean in tune, yeah, it's focused. Look at that. You will be surprised what isn't a deep scratch on a guitar. Now, do not use goof off on something that is not got a finish on it. If it is just bare paint, it will take that paint right off. Ask me how I know. How long this shape this thing is for being a cheap target throwaway guitar, you know? Whoops. Shh. You didn't see that. Well, it was in good shape. All right, and then I use this for my polishing. Mother's also makes a very good one, too. A couple spritzes, lint free rag. Look at that. I think this guitar is worth 25 bucks. And there you go, there is our cleaned up first act. So today we are going to try out the Darko 9s. Never tried them before, but they were four bucks. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the intonations and the action. I went through and turned each saddle two full turns, and that brought the action down to where I wanted it. All right, so let's check the tune. And now we're going to put our capo on the 12th fret. Now we're going to check our intonation. He's on A. So to set your intonation, forward makes it sharper, back makes it flatter. Are these good? You gotta take your time when you're doing this because you can actually go past it. Beats good. Almost forgot, got us a new nine volt. Hey everybody, real quick, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to upload this video and I was just kind of doing a little research on First Act and I thought this was pretty cool. Paul Westerberg from The Replacements, he has a signature model, a PW580. I would love to get myself one of those guitars. Brad Whitford from Aerosmith. has been seen playing first act guitars. Serge from System of a Down has been known to play first act guitars. Uh, Adam Levine, the guy with the Epiphone tattoo right here, he plays one. Just wanna like give you a heads up a little story about first act. 
Um, I was checking them out, and it turns out that they were at one time a producer of musical instruments for a lot of schools and things like that. And there was this company called Brook May that made a lot of music for schools, but they wanted to get into the instrument business and sell those to schools as well. So what they did was they put out an ad campaign that said that first act made instrument shaped objects and tried to one up them with the schools. Well, first act took that as a slander and sued a Brook May and won $16.7 million bankrupting Brooke May. So I guess when it comes to that, the moral of the story is if you don't have anything nice to say, maybe you shouldn't say anything at all. Back to the guitar. All right, everybody. So here we are. Let's try out our first act, ME321. <laughs> Time since I played with some nines. This is a pretty neat guitar for the twenty five bucks and $3 set of strings and a $2 battery. I basically got $30 sitting right here. We're gonna dig into this one a little bit and find out what this is all about. That doesn't sound right to me. Any of you guys out there watching this have one of these guitars or know what we should look for on this guitar because you guys were right about the Angry SpongeBob guitar. So maybe you can help me out with this one. It's got a nine volt battery. Everything is in here. So, probably should have checked into this before I put strings on it. All right, so that is our first act, ME321, the poker guitar. So I want to thank everybody for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing to these videos. Leaving comments is way cool. We are right around 700 subscribers. Everybody, thanks for tuning in and checking out, hanging out with us today. We will see you on the next one.